Now, if you're struggling to rotate in the downswing and in the backswing, I'm gonna show you a way to set up to the golf ball that is gonna immediately increase your chances by a crazy amount to get better, easier, and freer rotation in the golf swing. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So what is this? This is setting up to the golf ball with flair in both feet. So what is flare is where you're having your trail foot with your toes pointing outwards, lead foot with your toes pointing outwards here. So this will massively increase the range of motion of your hips. So this is something that is either completely overlooked because a lot of golfers don't know about it, or two, which is more the case, golfers do know about this, do know the benefits of this, but don't do it because it looks funny. So there are a lot of things in the golf swing that if they increase functionality, do look a little bit odd, but we need to have substance of a style. Now, I'm very much one for, I couldn't care less about how I looked about hitting a golf ball. If it's gonna make me hit the golf ball better, especially if it's gonna rotate better, I'll do anything to better hit that ball with more rotation. So I'd encourage you to be the same. Stand with those feet flared out, you might look like a frog, but it will help you massively for getting your rotation. Because what this does, this opens up your hip joints and your range of motion of your hip joints. So straight away, I'm gonna be able to turn more backswing and downswing. If I had straight feet, which is the traditional way of doing it, the textbook way of doing it, now my hip joints have closed off. So I can only rotate so much. I get so many golfers who will come to me and they will say, I just cannot rotate my hips in the downswing. I can't do it and I can't rotate in the backswing either. And all of those golfers, what would I see them like set up? Like this with flare feet. You're not giving yourself even the slightest chance if you're doing that with your feet. Look here, I'm just gonna set up at this angle here and I'm gonna have dead straight feet. So I'm standing here like this. No foot flare at all. Now I'm gonna rotate at this position here downswing wise as much as I can. So I'm gonna open up my hips as much as I can. This is about as much as I'm feeling and I'm feeling actually quite a lot of stretch or up my sides and quite a bit of pain. I can't rotate any more than that. So not that great. Let's do the opposite. Let's flare out those feet. So I'm gonna flare out those feet. Same thing, gonna rotate as much as I can. Look how much more rotation I've got. I've got no strain up my sides. It feels more comfortable and it feels effortless. Have I done a bunch of mobility drills in between that? No, they were a second apart from each other. That is how much of a difference flaring your feet can really make your rotation. It can really help massively. So if you're not doing this, you're really in for a bad one for trying to get more hip rotation. So even just to bring it home even more, let's do a slow-mo swing with feet being dead straight here. And we're gonna look at the rotation on slow-mo. So, I mean, I hit that okay, but I know if I, that was not into a net, that ball would be probably going 25 yards shorter than normal. So, let's have a big old flare of those feet. Now, I'm gonna actually quite extreme it, just for example. So, let's look at the same thing here. So, way more distance that would create for sure. And as we can see, way more rotation from there as well. Now, this is certainly an area Again, looks funny, but just get used to it. <laughs> get used to it, because it makes so much of a difference. We don't all have super athletic levels of mobility. We can have tall guys doing this, for sure, with dead straight feet, but they are the top athletes of the sport. They can do this. We're not top athletes of the sport. Even though I'm a professional golfer, I am not an athlete at all. And a lot of you watching this are not athletes either. So we need to be able to give ourselves the best chance to be able to do these movements that we want. This just frees things up so much nicely. Flare those feet out, even try and do it crazy to start off with. And, but you're gonna start to see straight away more rotation in backswing and downswing. So more powerful shots, more controlled shots. It's a no-brainer. We really need to, as a golfing community, to get out of this style over substance. We need to flip that over. We need substance over style. We really got ourselves into a rut in the golfing community over the 90s and 2000s about having to make everything look good. 
Having things look good does not relate to good golf. Look at the golfers back in Nicholas's era. They all had some different looking golf swings, but for the equipment and golf balls they used, they hit it incredibly straight and incredibly long. And that's where golf instruction is going nowadays, is swinging like your Nicholas. You look at them back then, they all had this flared foot. Both of those feet were flared. Look at quite a lot of the modern day guys now. They have flared feet. Really, that's gonna help you massively. So, short and sweet one here, guys. You've got to flare out those feet. If you really want to be getting the most out of your golf swing, whether you're young, whether you're old, you've got to do this move. It's going to help you massively. Make golf easier, not harder. So if you enjoyed this video, of course, click that like button. Want more golf instruction just like this? Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video. And you know what, guys? Why on earth am I wearing sunglasses right now? It's, it's chucking it down raining. So let me take these off and yeah, get that better foot flare.